Hi folks! In today's video tutorial I am going to answer to your question if it is possible to create quadruped robot and we can say something like dancing, yeah? So you can see here that I really easily create the quadruped robot and you can create your custom one, something really nice, yeah? But I'd like to focus on the logic how to create the dancing robot in Creo. And we will use the standard mechanism and you can see that I have tried tested with the 3D contact but was not working. So then I have created the camp follower and then everything looks really, really good. So let's start from scratch. So I will jump here and explain to you that first of all, I have created the plane and then some mechanism. So if I will open this some small mechanism, you can see here that it's simple mechanism that I have a base shape and then four legs. Yeah, everything is here. And then I have created these legs as the pin connection. So if I will select the edit definition, you can see here that pin connection has been set up. So if I will come from OK, at the end, you know that it's possible to jump into application mechanism and you are able to create the servo motors for first leg, second, third and fourth. So what does it mean if I will select any servo motor here and select a definition, you are able to see that it's a simple cosine, the servo motor and specification with some value. My leg is always uh, moving left to right and with different uh, cosine dimension, so maybe minus 15, 12 and so on. And I have set up that I don't want to make the mistake that will be interference between these two components. And at the end, you are able to check if your animation as the position. So what does it mean if I will select the definition? You are able to set time, how long it take. And for example, frame rate, you can see here that right now I set up 120 frame rate because I'd like to see the movement. And in the motor, I have a motor 1, 2, 3, 4. And if I will run, the system will move legs as we need. So right now it's only moving legs, yeah? But what does it mean if you move the legs? You can dance, yeah, it's only for fun and one question from you. So thank you, Adnan. And if I will come from OK, so right now the moving is working and we have to put it in some space. So simple and easy. I have created the dancing plate and apply the mechanism into assembly. As I mentioned, 3D contact was not working. So simple and easy, we can delete. 3D contact are not necessary. But first and second question is how to apply mechanism in this additional assembly. So if I will select edit definition, you can see here that I have select six DOF. So we have specified six degree of freedom. So you can move anywhere in the space and then you need to select two coordinate system. Yes, because the six DOF needs a selection of two coordinate systems. So simply select from your mechanism and from your world. If I come from OK, everything is here. And we can simply and easy continue in application mechanism. What we need to do is create the CAM connections. And you can see here that I have created four CAM connections. So simply and easy for now, I don't want to create everything from scratch. I will select the definition. And if I will select the definition for first CAM, you can see here that as the reference has been selected, this planar surface and then front and back reference front and back reference because you need to specify the, the shape or the place, sorry, where the mechanism will be moved. As the second cam is the cylindrical surface on the leg, the connection is here. And you know from previous tutorial that if you would like to have the movement outside of the surface, you have to specify the liftoff. So for now, I specify liftoff as the zero. Try to set one and you will see the jumping yeah something like this jumping you will see try to it's really fun so for now i lift off is zero and you can see here that i apply also the friction i'd like to play with friction yeah because without friction is not movement it will be only only dancing on one place i will show you 
Sorry that I'm speaking so quickly, but you can see that is only explanation and you have to try by yourself. So continue. We have a four cam connections. What does it mean? Every leg can move the differently, different value in the cosine pin connection, yeah, in the servo motor or for example different friction. So you can play it with friction, you can apply something bigger value or if you if I will go through one by one you can see that friction is always different. I try to play with it and it looks really nice. Yes. Yeah? So if you will specify different friction every legs will go in the different movement regarding the placement on the surface. Summary you will create a mechanism in the mechanism you will apply pin connection for the legs and apply four servo motors. Servo motors are defined as the cosine and then you can play with the angle. At the end you will place your mechanism in the additional assembly and you will place this mechanism as the 6DOF coordinate system to coordinate system and you will create four cam connections. Perfect. And you are able to select the lift off plus frictions. Everything is defined. What we need is specify the analysis. So if I will select the definition of what I have prepared, you can see here that right now we are focusing a type of dynamic analyze. You are able to place with the conditions or initial state and so on, but you have to follow my previous tutorial where I have explained and separately 3D contact, cam, cam follower, pin connection and specification of the servo motors. For every simple examples you can find the several explanation in my tutorials. I hope so that you like it also and we, con we can continue with Dancing Queen. Simple as is easy. You can see here that right now I don't want to use the external load, I will not apply gravity, I will not apply the friction. What does it mean? Only servo motor from this mechanism is applied. You can see here that is again servo motor 1, 2, 3, 4, black 1, 2, 3, 4. If I will run, I will check, 5 seconds is good enough, we can check what will be happen if the gravity and friction is not applied. So run and nothing. It's only moving, yeah? So legs are moving and we can say this is not what we want to do. We would like to move the our mechanism, maybe dance, yeah? So everything depends about the moving legs and definition of the friction. So for now I will specify the gravity only. What will be happen? These objects will be slide on the planar surface and then the main mechanism or the main plate will go up and down. Yes, almost as in reality. So I will zoom it a little bit and we can play only with the gravity. I will run. The system select and place the mechanism. You have seen a little bit shaking. And right now you can see that the plate is going up and down, up and down. And if the legs will be really short one, then you can imagine that we'll be going up and down really nicely. So try to play with your custom specification, maybe with the shape, nice shape of the legs or maybe with a really nice shape of the body and we'll be fine. So you can see that gravity is working and also cam follower is working well, but friction is was not applied, was not applied. What does it mean? We would like to see if I will enable all friction. What will be happen? And voila, we can dance all together and listen to music. So I will try to find some really good music for this example. And you can see that right now every leg is moving different speed, different servo motor, different friction. And you can see that our, we can say, the funny mechanism is moving and dancing. I hope so that you like this example, how to reuse the cam connection, how to reuse the 6DOF placement. What does it mean to create a servo motor and specify different values and for example use the cosine logic and then apply 
the camp followers, friction, gravity, and so on. If you like this video, please leave a comment or simply push the like button or donate me by coffee. Have a nice time and bye bye. Adieu.